that's a topic that I believe should be a part of an ongoing dialogue in the future, but in the interim right now with the instability in the region, our hope is that both Baghdad and Erbil will lower those tensions. That could end up proving counterproductive for both sides and empowering Iran and others uh, who seek not simply to control Iraq, but also to control uh, Kurdistan. So uh, I'm, we're not, I wouldn't ask the Kurdish people to abandon their hopes of uh, independence and, and, and certainly the ability to dialogue that in the future and their status, but we'd be very careful in the interim that in so doing doesn't trigger something that's counterproductive. I think there are a lot of elements in the region that would like to see continuing instability in the region um, for a lot of different reasons. Our, our, that's not our hope. Our hope is stability and our hope is that the people of Kurdistan will be able to have uh, the freedom and, and the opportunity to uh, pursue their aspirations. And I think one of the ways they would threaten them is if they're if given an excuse to act uh, militarily, primarily through one of their um, militia groups to, to trigger an armed conflict that they could use as a pretext. I, I do, and I, and I think we should. But I think the most important thing we can do in the short term to help is to prevent a destabilizing conflict.